one of the original blades that I had was a Spyderco. And that was what basically got me into the folders, the original folders and everything else I started training with. And I even saw it in the movie um, Exposure, right? If you watch it in old uh, 80s movies. And to know that, you know, we have the man here working with Spyderco, but even better and amazing are some of the designs she's come up with. Could you please share with us some of those designs? So the Ojimbo 2 basically is kind of my take on my, my opinion of a, a perfect every, everyday carry knife. Filipino grip is one of the things that a lot of people don't understand. When you see people who are using a thumb extended grip or even a grip that is open, a thumb and index finger this way, people look at that and they don't really understand the mechanics. The last three fingers are the strength of the grip and they're actually built on a different muscle and nerve structure than the thumb and index finger. This is tapered to fit the shape of the hand. So the fingers get shorter toward the pinky. Uh -huh. That taper allows you to anchor into the hand. But what really defines it, in my opinion, is the ramp on the back of the blade mm -hmm. here, which gives you that thumb forward. Mm -hmm. To not only have the pressure cut, but the way that I look at it, the thumb is like training wheels for the blade. Mm -hmm. If I aim the thumb, I already have that neuromuscular coordination to be able to touch things precisely. So if I transfer that to the heel of the blade, now my cuts are always accurate. But what it allows me to do is initiate the cut at the heel of the blade, maintain a natural strong wrist angle, and then cut with full power all the way to the tip. It also gives me a very acute point for thrusting. Uh -huh. So even though it's not as strong as some other designs as far as the tip structure, as long as I'm accurate, I'm hitting soft tissue and it doesn't yep, matter. Yep, soft tissue. But the beauty of it, if you notice what it is, with the way it has it in his hand, is it's one with him. The whole thing, from the thought of how all this, just that grip alone, the three fingers, understanding that, it's the whole blade is his hand. The thumb and everything, the way you move the hand is the way the blade goes. You make it a natural extension. So it's a, that's a thinking man's art. So think about that. The understanding of the art that translates to the body now into a blade personified. Now, there's also another one that I like from, you know, the Filipino martial I'm sure it is Frank. because legendary Bram Frank. And Bram is one of the guys...